Now this next piece of material is real simple. It's called free-floating hostility. 24 minor cultural items I'm bored with, tired of, and pissed at. So I hope you're ready for a little random anger. People, people, people who make quote marks in the air with their fingers. Are you tired of these people yet? He said he was sober. Hey, lady, eat me! Bada boom, bada bing. Next guy says to me, bada boom, bada bing is getting kicked right in the fucking nuts. Bada boom, motherfucker! You wanna try bada bing? Bad hair day. Where did this shit come from? What a superficial culture. Put on a hat and go to work, you shallow cunt. Another crime against society, hyphenated names. Hey lady, pick a fucking name, would you please? Pick a fucking name. Hi, I'm Emily Jarakor Fortescue. Hi, I'm George Jerk Me Off, fuck you too. Another complaint, too many vehicles. There are some families in this country own entirely too many vehicles. You see them on the highway in an RV, but that's not enough for them, RV's not enough. Behind them, they're towing a motorboat, go-kart, dune buggy, dirt bike, jet ski, snowmobile, parasail, hang glider, windsurfing equipment, a hot air balloon, and a small two-man deep-sea diving bell. <laughs> Doesn't anyone just take a fucking walk anymore? <laughs> the only thing these people lack is a lunar excursion module. <laughs> Too many choices, America. It's not healthy. And haven't we gone a little overboard with these colored ribbons for different causes? Every cause has its own colored ribbon now. Red for AIDS, blue for child abuse, pink for breast cancer, green for the rainforest, purple for urban violence. I got a brown one, you know what it means? Eat shit, motherfucker! Eat shit, motherfucker! Getting pretty tired of these guys walking around in cowboy hats and cowboy boots. You ever see these jack-offs? Can't we kill some of these motherfuckers? Walking around a fucking cowboy hat. Grown man. It's not even Halloween, for Christ's sakes. I say, hey, Tex, grow up and get yourself a wardrobe consistent with the century you're living in. <laughs> and camcorders. Here is technology gone berserk. Everywhere you go now, there's some dick, some yo-yo, some putts with a camcorder, and he is going to tape everything. <laughs> Doesn't anyone in this country just stop and look at things anymore? Sort of take them in? Maybe even <laughs> remember them? Is that just a strange notion? Does, that, does experience have to be documented and brought home and saved on a shelf? And do people really watch this shit? Are people's lives so bankrupt they sit at home looking at things they already did? <laughs> These guys are so intense, you know? It's always guys. They won't let women touch the cameras. It's a highly technical skill. Look through a hole, push on a button, big skill, and they're, they all think they're Federico Fellini. You ever seen any of this shit? <laughs> Low angle, zooms and pans, and it's the same ugly three children in every goddamn shot. <laughs> all the George Lucas magic in Hollywood is not going to change the unfortunate genetic configuration on the faces of these children. Keep these unfortunate youngsters out of public view. <laughs> well, what about these guys who tell you, I heard that, I heard that. Oh, you did, did you? Well, isn't this exciting? What is this, a fucking hearing test? Did I wander into a bell tone commercial here? Of course you heard it, you fucking nimrod. I'm standing right next to you. I'm gonna move down here. I'm gonna move a little farther away. Blow me! By any chance, did you hear that? Now, what about these people who tell you their needs aren't being met? You run into this stuff? This is support group shit, 12-steppers. My needs aren't being met. Know what I tell them? Drop some of your needs. <laughs> Life is a zero-sum game. What else is troubling me? Mickey Mouse's birthday being announced on the television news as if it's an actual event. I don't give a shit. 
If I cared about Mickey Mouse's birthday, I'd have memorized it years ago. And I'd send him a card. Dear Mickey, happy birthday. Love, George. I don't do that. Why? Don't give a shit. Fuck Mickey Mouse. Fuck him in the asshole with a big rubber dick. Then break it off and beat him with the rest of it. I hope Mickey dies. I do. I hope he goddamn dies. I hope he gets a hold of some tainted cheese and dies lonely and forgotten behind the baseboard of a soiled bathroom in a poor neighborhood with his hand in Goofy's pants. Mickey Mouse, no one and no one in the world takes our country seriously. We waste valuable television time informing our citizens of the age of an imaginary rodent. Now let me ask you this. The two pandas in the zoo, do you care if they fuck? I don't. Why don't they stop telling me on the news the pandas didn't fuck again this year? I'm not concerned. I have no emotional stake in panda fucking, all right? If they want to, they will. If not, they'll watch The Price is Right. Probably the only reason they're not doing it on time is because some jack-off from the environmental movement has moved into the cage with them. Could you get a hard-on if some guy in a green t-shirt with a stopwatch was taking your girlfriend's rectal temperature? <laughs> Leave these creatures alone!